So, Pudgy, Beanpole, Redhead, what'd I miss? A lot. Well, shit. Uh, we, uh, we, well, we, we got Jill cured after she was stabbed and infected by, uh, Nemesis. Uh, Carlos ran off to God knows where trying to find the last T-Virus vaccine. And we're trying to chase after him because Tyrell, his partner, told us that if we can find that vaccine, we can actually get them to stop the missiles coming towards, uh, um, Umbrella, uh, umbrella towards Raccoon City. They'll just, you know, pull a U-turn because that's believable. Uh, the problem is that Tyrell then got killed by the worst nemesis project ever. And Nikolai is somewhere in this facility with us trying to the collect data. The worst nemesis project ever, which is the only nemesis project ever. Correct. Which makes it, which why... automatically makes it the worst one. Exactly. But also automatically so... makes it the best. Uh, that is unfortunate. Don't, don't make me think that don't I, I hate thinking of the fact that Sonic Boom is technically the best Sonic Boom game ever. That no, Sonic it Rise isn't the because the there are one. two other Sonic Boom ba games. All oh, right, and they are better. Kind of better. Wow. What was, what was the other one? It was like Fire and Ice or but, something like yeah, that. Yeah, Fire right. and Ice was the uh, last one. Was it actually now? Because here's the fun thing I learned is that they were good. Lyric they actually were ends better. Up, but I was gonna say because here's the fun thing I learned that Rise of Lyric also note this uh, thing for later. Uh, I heard that Rise of, Lyric, Rise of Lyric ends on a cliffhanger, and I didn't know Fire and Ice actually tries to follow up. Not on a cliffhanger. really. No, it just sticks back. It just sticks with what the show established. Wow. For those who are curious, uh, Lyric was looking after, I guess, some energy thing that would like power a bunch of robots. You get they got it away from him, and then Eggman it was revealed found at the end of the game. But it was Rise of Lyric, and I want to say Red Button Studio is dead now. Yeah. Like if they weren't dead, if they anymore. weren't dead before, they probably are now. I'm looking them up now. Big red button. Meanwhile, a hype. What were you up to today? Okay, so for context, and to elaborate on the very flattering joke the guys were doing, um, for the last handful of parts, I was partaking in a Sonic-themed uh, character panel in a uh, Discord server, kind of like a convention center of sorts. And for the uh, character panel, they were having the Babylon Rogues involved, and I was asked to play Jet for that panel. Oh, okay. Uh, oh boy. That never gets yeah. better the more I see it. Apparently, Big Red Button made a game called John Wick VR. Really? Oh, yeah. But, but, it, but it only went into one chapter. It was an early teaser. I don't think they're around anymore. They did Crash and Burn. Yeah, I'm going to check that. Well, Crash and Burn is... I'm, I'm pretty sure Crash and Burn is... Actually, no, I'm thinking of a different... Like, is, hmm. it, is it the Crash prototype that they tried to pitch? Uh, oh, are you sure? I don't. I don't think that was Big Red Button. Or actually, was it Big Red Button? Yeah, no. It's on their web. It's on their official website. Crash and Burn. Oh right, I forgot. But I, but I, but it's odd that they have it listed on here if it didn't even like become a real game. No, I, I didn't. Know. I mean, again, it was just a prototype that didn't really, didn't get very far. And I mean, now that we have the Insane Trilogy, I mean that probably okay. explains why. <laughs> I'm okay uh, with it in Crash done... Four. No, they're apparently still around. They just haven't done much. They are doing the smart thing and laying low. <laughs> Just hoping that everything that they're waiting for everybody who played Rise of Lyric to slowly die out and then what they can the rise from the ashes <laughs> and then they and no one will remember what I they've mean, done. You know, I'm just I'm just imagining that they're all in a storm bunker. One of them peers their head out and goes, Nope, they're still pissy about Bangarang for some reason. No, actually, I, I just imagine what, like, the, they're in the bunker. One of them just looks out on the horizon as the sun goes down, and he just goes, Soon. One more day. <laughs> like, uh, now, you, now, you have me, now you do have me thinking that the CEO is singing One Day More. One day more. It's another day, another destiny. Me. This man who seemed to know my crimes. It's just, anyway. So yeah, that's whole that's that that's its own little problem going on. But uh, let's see, I'm coming. Do you think comments? No doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy. Whenever they ever talk to you before, Nathaniel Goddamn Bard. So we know now. Also, the guy we were trying to save, Carlo, uh, the guy Carlos was trying to save, is dead now. And yeah, now oh we boy. understand. Whoa, that should not have happened. You okay? okay. Yeah, they're okay. Now she's not. Right, so we are also trying to find. Who stores it like that? These Put people. that shit in a drawer, not in a massive freaking container. Or this guy, just leave gunpowder out in your desk. Though I will say, I just now realized, 
decent uh, world building of them, James, to have that uh, email we read where they were all requesting weapons to explain why we find ammunition and stuff just littered around these offices. Yeah. There we go. Vaccine base. Right next to the email that also lists that that same day was also your t is also take your child to work day. Yep. Boy, it's a so who's good been thing munching they ignore on ignore that memo. So who's been munching on man meat? What? Who done Never it? Say that again. <laughs> I'm referencing. I'm referencing back to that tablet article we saw back in part one or two or whatever about the when when that freaking uh like TMZ kind of like reporter thing was talking about the uh, cannibals. Oh shit. Huh. You know, yeah. all things considered. Oh boy, oh boy here we go. I know Arena this time. Be, I know it would be them kind of just either. Maybe it would be kind of a, them. Yeah, what's the word? Uh, ripping off of uh, something that Silent Hill already did. But I could totally imagine um, Resident Evil also like paying its respects to it or whatever by having at one point just a random shopping cart with a whole bunch of pistols in it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I I like that idea of Silent Hill. Honestly, is the idea of like. The townsfolk getting pretty, like, just having to use, like, ingenuity to try and survive whatever hell's happening around them. I mean, it was yeah. also supposed to be an in-joke about how easy uh, firearms were, are, are to get in the States. Yeah. Really is. Commentary. I still love the, I still love the idea of how Metal Wolf Chaos came to be. That in America, the land of guns, the president must have the biggest guns. Yeah, so give him a really robot did. suit. He really fucking did. Uh... I love that. I love that this robot suit that is three times the size of a human being, they literally made magnums the size of planes for it to be able to hold and shoot like a regular ass magnum. Again, I still think my favorite like depiction of America in like a Japanese thing is in Pat Labor and how when they go to America, literally every single person has a gun and they're firing them at all times. <laughs> Which, uh, how do you, you know, would be, would have been re is a tongue in cheek commentary and would have been ridiculous. Now it, it's, it's sadly true. Now it's what you can expect to see in our futures. That's four ninety nine. Awesome. Do you want to play in, do you want to pay in bills or bullets? Or that's, the, oh, 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 that's the other thing. That's the other thing. Hype is we got really depressed here. We wildly, we wildly like flipped between manic, like, manic like craze of what's going on in this game and vast depression for our futures so it's a good thing i missed out yeah potentially anywho we're gonna make ourselves a vaccine everybody it's easy Dude. all you do is you silence anybody who's gonna get mad at you for even bringing up the notion of it and then you just fiddle around with these buttons wildly until they all land in the green and you too can uh, mess around and get your own uh, it was like medium high low yep there you go and you too with no college degree can make a vaccine base as though you're a medical pro I st this is still a better vaccine mini game than Resident Evil 2 yeah no the little the, 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 it, it, someone doesn't like Professor Layton and I it. like Professor Layton the, I hated that thing it's the yeah, we mutagen yeah, it does look like stick. mutagen. But unfortunately, just as soon as we got that... I, I, I believe you have something of mine. No, you don't. Ow, ow. That's a tough tongue if, like, that's like about to say that's been stabbed. That's also yeah. kind of risky, considering that, like, what if she accidentally goes too deep and stabs her own neck? <laughs> what if Nemesis just, like, quickly, whoop, and just lifted the tongue up just for a moment, like... Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! You know the way that he was it, he was holding her up like that. Is it weird that I was that I'm suddenly thinking like if that was fucking Krang doing that? We've been here for two thousand years, and you still can't, can't even speak, speak English. proper English. Should that be another show we marathon eventually? Yes, I'd be down with that. What's I mean, available it, on that? And I don't, also would, it would recommend the two thousand three show. I are they, are they, are that they still too. I, I did binge that for a bit, but I stopped pretty early on, and I wish I remember why. Do we know if they're available on anything? Uh, it well, is on Paramount. It is on Paramount uh, Plus, so we'd probably have to ask Royce to uh, help. Well, us I know. Well, I know what the 2012 show is, but is the Four Kids show on there too? It is. Neat. And I know some TMNT stuff is on Netflix because I think they added another movie. Well, or didn't something. they take the they're movies making... off though? But they took the movies off to add a different movie on. To yeah, it. they're made. They're it's either the Rise movie or the Seth Rogen movie that they're making. I think it's the Rise one. 
Anyway, so you also just came. You also arrived just in time, hype because we are actually getting ready for this. Is it like? Sure, there's a boss battle after this, but let's be honest. This is the the true like final boss. This is gonna be the final boss that tests us on everything we've collected through this game, uh, mm -hmm. with the nemesis. And uh, I'm gonna make sure we swap to some good good old explodey boys. Mine launch uh, the uh, grenade launcher, of course, is gonna be our biggest uh, you know AOE damage dealer. And of course, we're having the magnum on standby. A handgun, you're not really gonna be needing that anymore. What in God's name is this place? Welcome to the acid pit. Acid pit. Yep, every, literally every single one of those containers contains some amount of... Wow, I have... A lot. Okay. I, what do I do? We'll Oop. just do that. <laughs> Perfect. That there we go. Great. Yeah, literally I, just have, literally, I just have a stack of shotgun shells that is like literally just one only. So there we go. Uh, anywho. Yay um, for sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, literally every single, one, every single one of these tanks has acid. And I guess the idea is that they could just grab a butt-ton of uh, tests that had failed... Dump them in this pit and uh, clean them up uh, all at the same time. Clean them up. I mean, Hell you know, off the face the of the earth. Last time, I dumped a pit on you losing, and I need that job to pay my mortgages. It's a living. Ow, oh, jeez. Oh. Ow. Ow. The vaccine. Which is now in a metal container, inexplicably. Oh boy. Uh, uh, fucking course. The city needs that vaccine. More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't. As you would say, go survival of the fittest. I will say, I, I do. Feet. I will say, I dig his actor. I think so he does a good job being like. Oh, you, oh, if you think that's great, then you can't wait for you to watch Resident Evil 8 because this is Heisenberg. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, this I think is he Heisenberg. Already mentioned it, but, but he, does, he does some decent accents. Oh, yeah, no, he does a great job. Oh, oh boy. Ow, my fingers. Am so, I with that, else? it's time for a final showdown with Nemesis Doggy. I don't even want to oh, know what the heck she was. That's she why. landed right next to. It. Oh. So. Uh, oh, 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 that there, that there, James would be the remains of the uh, the last bath that was given in this place. I'll just say right now. I do remember like the second and last fight with Nemesis in the classic uh, RE3. You had to find him inside. It was literally a uh... Matt. You can better chamber? elaborate for me. It was like a, uh, it was like a, it was like say uh, a container full of a, a dead bodies. They just disperse when it gets too overloaded. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while oh. since I've played three, so... That's fair. You're fine. But yeah, you were so under good. a time limit, and if you didn't reach that time, you'd be dumped along with the rest of the bodies and, uh, yep. Nemesis. So here's how the, so here's how the uh, loop... Shoes, Carlos. Carlos! So here's how the loop normally should go. Okay. He'll start running around a loop, and then you can actually... Actually, you would have the handgun... I'll have to use the Magnum, so sorry, I'll have to waste a bullet or two. Uh, when he starts charging around, I would have to shoot one of these things that he, uh, gets onto. But more on that later. For now... He is going to uh, bring back this old classic. So hold on here. <laughs> now, <laughs> close. Oh. Hold on. Three, two, one. Fire! Got him. Ow! Ow! Jeez. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you how much that hurts me? Both note that you and emotionally. Note that you don't have to do what I did. You could also you can click ammo from the pause. Note that you don't have to do what I did. You could be smart and actually just put it on the wall, but I like to go for style points. If you want you style points, that? go play dumb. Ah. Yeah, he also flails really wildly. And oh my god, okay, okay. Uh, he he can combo you to hell and back. Uh, yeah, that, that flailing is just his way of saying I've had enough of you. I've had it up to here, and oh boy, here we go. Another mine round, yes Time I do. Time is just right. Don't flub up. Ha! I love the reaction of like, woo, I love the reaction to see yeah, So, mine rounds are very useful, but I would argue that beyond... Uh, how to put this? Mine rounds would be more... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> that was a zombie. I was like, oh jeez, I'm out here. She, like, it's so... Anyway. Mine rounds would be very, I think, interesting if I could use them in an open area like the police station. But because everything is so linear, 
There we go. Flurry Rush. Because this game is so linear, the mine rounds become super situational to even use. So you really are only using them for something like this. So uh, I don't have enough time to send the mine round after him, so we're going to show what happens. Uh, he will charge away, and I'll be able to deal some damage to these guys. Oh, boy. Curse you, game, for freaking like, making my PC cry. <laughs> the PC wasn't terribly proud of that performance. That's why, if I, that's why, even though I love playing shooters and stuff on PC, if I, if I do fully go to the remake, RE4 and Matt cannot record it, I will play, I will record it on console. Probably. Though, assume it, though, whatever, but... Wouldn't it be more fun if you could do the same thing you're doing with the original RE4? Oh, it would be really weird. It depends on how hard it is. At least then, you, at least then, using a mouse wouldn't seem as oh. weird. So here we go. Number two. So shoot them both. Zap, buddy. Zap, zap. You'll stun him, and then Carlos will go in. Boom! And oh. bait him in acid from behind. Yeah, Carlos. Go him up, and oh, that's it. Oh. Yeah, you did so much damage to him. That's the Magnum for you. Crane, are you kidding me? It's so... Oh, jeez. I told you you're going to see stars. Now start oh. seeing stars. Also, the more you fight this thing, the more I just go, man, somebody on the staff designed this thing watched a lot of Season 3 of Stranger Things. Yep. Assuming that... Would Season 3 be out by the time this game is made? Yes. Uh, uh, season three so, came out. In, they're still kid actors. Season yeah. three came out in 2019. Time to bathe them. Let's see. Oh God! Oh jeez, that. that hurts. Why now, me? <laughs> now he'll have no choice but to melt down like freaking Doctor Doom, not Doctor Judge Doom. I almost have to expect him to give the freaking thumbs up. And as his hand melts, and as his hand goes down, instead of a thumbs up, he flips you the bird. Surely that has to be the end of him. Okay. I hope so. Nikolai, where did you go? I'm not telling you. You're going to get mad at me. <laughs> oh, Are you in the bath. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, hype. No, no, I, I was continuing your joke where it's like, I'm not telling you. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're going to yell at me. Also, yes, this is their version of the Rhino. They've been programming a freaking rail cannon laser beam known as the Finger. Ha! <laughs> wow. Ha! <laughs> and they straight... No, and, 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 I mean, they're not going to be subtle about it at all. If I go on to page two, uh, suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. So it's like, this is like the precursor to that super bioweapon pistol. Extreme firepower provides a secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. Uh, tyrants out of line, just give them the finger, and <laughs> problem solved. Yeah. However, uh, it will require multiple power sources to use. So essentially, that's why I believe that what we just did was the real final boss, because effectively it's going to end up coming later is... It's more so just a puzzle boss. Yeah. Um, Which I want to say is the exact same way that RE3 Classic ended. It did. Because you were essentially powering up a cannon. It did. However, my problem is that we don't get Jill's greatest line ever in this... Uh, in well, this we already got it, like, way back when. No. Yeah, we did hear it. No, that... The, no, I'll make you see the stars. I'm, yeah, the, uh, you want stars? I'll give you stars. He, she did say that, but it was during like fight number two. Oh so shit! Kinda... Really? Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you were there. No, I missed. I know I was here, but I probably missed her. It, 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 the game definitely didn't give it like the yeah the fanfare. action hero punch it should have needed. Yeah. yeah. Nikolai. There you are. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You lose money. I like. <laughs> I like money. It makes I will say, I will say, I do like his uh, actor, like what the lines he says in the uh, Resident Evil. Uh, what was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, asymmetrical uh, horror oh, game. Oh, yeah. This Nemesis fucker just don't give up. up. It is one of the definitely one of the most potent. Uh, they say in the classic is definitely one of the most potent uh, bioweapons. Here I can't kill a single stars member without having yeah. to throw a tantrum. Oh. You know how I 
like this, it is about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. Also, Even though I technically did Good earlier. Luck. Good luck. Also, it's called a uh, resistance. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and that one he has some. He has a, he has some other fun dialogue if you get to play as him you? as the uh, mastermind. Yeah. I've got this. So well, Carlos is gonna go and hopefully stop. Which Nikolai. I can't wait to hear what lines. Uh, what line? You know? By the way, Neil Newbin is the name of the actor. He's awesome. Um, Let's do it. I can't wait to hear what his lines are in Mercenaries mode for. Uh, oh yeah. As Carl is. So here's how this works. Uh, I believe we need to. I think we honestly only need to pop this guy twice. Maybe it's more in harder difficulties. Oh, but no. uh, actually, I think it's Power like up. three times. Nemesis sees sure this and it's him. like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Boom! Ow! Oh! And unfortunately, now all the power source has to cool down immediately, and that's definitely pissed him off. And also, unfortunately, because of some of the. Uh, it, it's. Some of the power sources have failed, and in order to use this again, we now need to move around and, you know, survive, not die, not... Pretty much... Good, you can, good girl, Joe. Don't leave the thing... Put the thing down while you take care of the power sources. I would also argue you can get two shots by this guy, like, yes. pretty easily. So, um, my focus would be... This is why, A, I saved all them first A sprays, and, uh... Fuck, my right, am I right? And yeah, don't worry about the shotgun anymore. Basically, what you want to do is shoot all the pods, and that'll stun him for a pretty good amount of time, and that'll give you the chance you need to uh, push these guys into position. So, one. Start. But yeah, otherwise, I don't know, I don't believe there's any other way to kill this thing without using the finger. Uh, there's I mean, again, this is pretty much this game's callback to the final bit of the classic game, where, you, again, you were using a... Huge laser, laser can in order to take him out. Which this although is I recall, technically what you're using again here. Yep, although I only recall now the room being a lot finger. But I also recall the room being a lot smaller, and he was like on top of like a box or something yes. like. But the puzzle still was, you know, basically. Uh, but the puzzle was still pretty much the same. Stun him yeah. and turn on all the battery sources. And then after, at that point, it oh. become a oh god. After that, it become a matter where the uh, laser itself would uh, fire at every other uh, interval, and you just had to make sure to aim Nemesis just right in order to finish him off in one shot. Huh. I I forget if we'll see that or not in Chronicles, because that is the other thing. I uh, that. I don't believe they show that part. No, because Nemesis, spoiler warning, he is in the third the RE three portion like he should, not until like the very last part of the game, and even then they stick to the very base design of them. Yeah, fair. Uh, we'll, we'll otherwise say, uh, yep, that's right, Hype and, uh, Matt, you gotta buckle up because we are gonna get ready to start doing some of them co-op games again. We've long promised and we're finally gonna deliver. Much like Chill's about to deliver the finger! And, uh, yep, that's actually it. We are now ready to give him yeah, the Yeah, I think old, it's uh, three in Madhouse difficulty. Not Madhouse, the final. <laughs> Just shove the damn thing in there. And we're gonna do the old BFG thing. Don't because we. Leave. Oh, oh yeah, BFG like in, uh, Doom. Yeah. And kaboom! Yeah, that was not quite as good as I'll give you stars, but that was a good one, too. And I will say, it's cool, but it's not... I love how many walls that thing just blasted through behind it. Oh. But I, but I will say, good not riddance. quite as good of a spectacle as it is when you do that to the Spider Mastermind and you get to actually see the thing. Oh yeah, I it. fucking love the Spider Mastermind. We still need to do Doom 2016. The only request I make is... For emergency sake, at least keep one round of BFG ammo on you for that. Oh, of just course. so that at least seems... It's not bad, it's just kind of like... When I play, I was like, wait, where did I get this from? I thought I was out. I just believed it hard enough with the heart of the cards. <laughs> Anywho, gotta stop Nikolai. Assuming you didn't get too far from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, apparently some dude, Matt, uh, proved that this game was so short... He, he actually he, he managed... was able to beat it in less than two hours. Get every single trophy Ooh. in the Wait, every, every single, single trophy. Yeah, every yep. single achievement. He beat everything in it, and he was able to get a full refund uh, because he beat it in less than two hours on Steam. Jesus fuck. Yep, there's some crazy stuff you can do, and it is cool. And it is cool to me that you can beat the that you can get pretty much every achievement in a single run of the game. Uh -oh. Yeah. Like the old layer and oh no. I Oh fucking course you are. You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't I? Here you go. No! Motherfucker. Do you have any idea what you've just done? 
Yes. No, no. Don't care. Oh, never mind. My client ordered me to reduce Umbrella to drop. So yeah, he doesn't, so he doesn't even work, work for Umbrella. He works for... It's revealed he works for the same company as, uh... As Ada in some supplementary material. In fact, it's actually suggested he survives. Uh, can't wait to how? see... Can't wait to see, hit, see how much of a old carcass he ends up being by RE9 or 10. I was like, how the hell did he survive what's gonna happen to him? Uh, no, I don't know. But apparently he does survive, or at least there's some reports that he survives. Oh, and uh, here's the last bit of thing we have to do. I'll hit you. Do it! You have to! You have to take the shot for me, please a man you, you met do, seven hours ago. Please tell me you do the bad ending first. No, I did Damn. not do the bad ending first. Why would I? After so all it is very well possible to kill them both. Yeah. Well, not even kill both. It is possible no, no, to kill it, him it, and then it, he just throws a knife you, at you or something. It, you accidentally kill uh, Carlos in which uh, Nikolai kills you. Ah. Oh. Oops. What about him? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... You know, I could have sworn he just headshot you. Why'd you do it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. I, 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 my aim was not uh, bad. There's a price tag for everything, even letting the world burn. Curses, mm. fuck stick. Who are you working for? I'll tell you if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're... Nah. You know, I think it's cheaper to find out myself. If I die. Never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Oh, never mind. The guy dies anyway. Yep. Well, well, kind of sort of. Maddie somehow survives it, but I, I don't buy it at this rate. There's no other helicopters, no other escape pods. We're leaving. I mean, he, him de he definitely did die this. in Classic RE3, and he's likely going to die here. So it's well, like... he dies in some scenarios in Classic RE3. Really? Well, regardless. We managed to get two more people out of Raccoon City, Chill. along with Leon, right. Sherry, and Claire, and whatever couples out there. And, Shame uh, it wasn't Barry that, could, that, that didn't save us. Oh, what the? And, for, and unfortunately, there it is. The uh, government's uh, collateral plan. To, contingency bye plan. Bye-bye, Raccoon it. City. Just like that. All evidence of Umbrella's work from Ari 1, 2, and 3 is erased. Whoa, stabilize this thing. Don't mind the computer coffee. It's lung out for a second there. <laughs> and we're good. Well, at least we're still airborne. Man, we were almost a Jill... Don't say it. We were almost a Jill toast. On, Bad honestly, timing, Carlos. Honestly, no panini. Honestly, an explosion that so big, awesome. turning into toast might be the better ending. <laughs> so there you go. That is it for I Raccoon City, the crisis that was no more. I'm sure Yoshi is doing pretty okay down there somewhere. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, oh, it's, a, it's a rooster, it's right, a rooster I, I, teeth. I, I, oh, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, robot chicken, yeah. Robot chicken, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Hmm. That was one of the first things I ever saw from Robot Chicken that scarred me for life. Then and there. Nah, City. So regardless, uh, sorry Jill, uh, we're not going to see or hear from you for quite a little while. Um, I mean, technically, if it were for all the retcons they made already five, this would be the last time you see Jill in these Yeah, no, franchise. here's the problem, though. I want, whatever happens in Resident Evil 9, I really, really want to know where the fuck Jill went. Because yeah, because she, she, she just goes MIA after what happened in RE5. Well, yeah. I want to know, know where Jill went. I want to know where Leon went. I want to know where... Uh, Le Leon, Leon still works for the government. He still is, uh, works for the president and all that. Uh, they do confirm that in Vendetta. Okay. I mean, it's amazing he was able to, uh, you know, keep keep his job and all that, especially after the, the, the president he was protecting at the time got zombified. Yeah, but I mean, hey, he did save the daughter, so you know, past experience. But whatever anyway, did, whatever did happen to her? Yeah, oh, by the way, that president, in, that president in Re Resident Evil Six is not President Graham. There's a new president by that point. Oh, oh. okay. Well, uh, did first off, that guy? first uh, off, as, always, just... as, as for as as always, first off for French localization, you go, Richard. 
You're the man. <laughs> you go, Rickard. Anyway, moving on. I'm losing my mind. It's been a long freaking day. So, <laughs> this was Resident Evil 3 Remake. The game Matt would not touch and allowed me to do it in his stead. Uh, I think it's okay. It's a, it's a, it, it, it works as like... For me, it works as like an expansion to RE2, I, but I definitely believe to make to be the the, the 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 superior game, more content, better story, and uh, I'd say uh, better pacing. But here, here's also a thing. Uh, do you mind if I give my thoughts on the game? Yeah, sure. I'm. I'm. Pr I, that's pretty much all I got. I don't hate this game. I don't hate it. I really do not. They really did do some good work, but it felt like. They half-assed it. Because one of the selling points of the original 3 was the fact that you could decide what to do. You just, Nemesis was a random factor at points. You decided where you went, it, it went, what times you went, stuff like that. It, like, and that also affected the story. Like, who you met at certain points, what happens and all that. In this game, oh, cool. it is incredibly linear incredibly linear it is pretty much a corridor shooter by this point uh, instead of yeah. the instead of the metroidvania nature of some resident evil games like the two make and all of that which i guess because of that that's also why i'm a little what was it you excuse me oh my gosh was it you who mentioned that um was it you who mentioned that um, freaking uh, that this was that this game was handled by a different division yes. of Capcom? Yes, this was handled. Basically, there was another division of Capcom that was uh, while that the first division, uh, the actual Resident Evil developers were working on Resident Evil Eight or Village. Uh, they handed the reins off to uh, a smaller development team, gave them the assets from uh, to make, and said, "Make three make. Just get it out by this point." Which is why a lot of corners had to be cut. Right. I want to say too that um... also there you go. I did cut some of the credits because like they're long credits. They're long. They're they're, they're they're long credits. So we'll just get back to things. Um. Otherwise, I mean, it's yeah. Again, it's if you like the if you like the gameplay of Resident Evil Two, it, it's here in three. It's the exact same engine. It's the RE engine. It's a really good engine, though. It's, Great a, little, engine. it's a good little uh, good engine. Um, uh, James, since you were here for more time than hype was, sorry, hype. Uh, oh. What did you think of our journey through Raccoon City? Also, hello, cliffhanger to something we may never actually see, unless they actually try to unless they actually try to remake five. Because we're gonna look into that re vaccine, I guess. Anyway. Uh, what did you think of RE3 make? Hmm. I thought it was alright. Like, I definitely do agree with the sentiment, though, that for all intents and purposes, this really should have just been, like, a expanded upon... It was just just an extension of RE2 make. Because it pretty much just was that. It was about as long as a traditional Resident Evil scenario. And it's like... Yeah, no, it was, it was too short for the $60 price tag. Again, the, the reason yeah. why the original... 3 was a bit better with it was because, yes, it didn't have the scenarios like uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2, but it had the replayability factor of, what if you fought Nemesis at this point instead of running away? What if right. you, uh, like, did this story plot point as opposed to the other one? And all that. So you wanted to see more of uh, what the game would offer. Right. Just like it's just like, I, I also even remember when the game came out, I just remember RE3 gained a lot less fanfare than RE2, just because I remember it just, it came out so quickly after RE2 had already been made. It's yeah, why yeah, I think it was like, it was like, what, a year difference? Yeah. I think so. And, uh, like, I remember, like, it, it generally surprised people. It was a one year difference, actually, yes. Wow. Which, I, I mean, again, I think that just feeds it home that, like, with that kind of time frame, it would have made more perfect, it made more perfect sense just to make it like a DLC expansion to RE2 than just to sell it as its own $60 game. But here's the problem. That's fair. Money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like they're hopefully learning their lesson. Uh, Hi, do you have any strong thoughts on this anyway, one way or the other? Not particularly. Like, it seems like a competently put together remake. Since I've never played the original RE3 or a whole lot of the RE games, I can't really say how good or bad it is compared to the other games. 
but on its own merits, it seems like it's still perfectly fine as is. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well. <laughs> Yeah. That was that, so. Everybody, I yeah. uh, hope you all enjoyed that. That was Resident Evil Three. Definitely one of the most games I've ever played. <laughs> God, you're going to do the um, fucking Morbius memes now, aren't you? No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to drop it there. Just it, it, it is a game. It's definitely not. It is absolutely not the worst Resident Evil game out there. Uh, just, uh, it's just definitely Can't food for thought that for it's having us people. to do six, Logan, because we just have to. We gotta do all of it. But um, yeah. But uh, it's um, it, it's definitely just all I can say as a final thought is it's definitely food for thought as to why I'm just hoping that they have the right people taking the right lessons moving forward with Resident Evil 4 Remake because it is Resident Evil 4 Remake. Because I, I, is, I'm not going to lie, it better be the main Resident Evil team working on the 4 Remake because that would make it better. But also, they better... I love Resident Evil Village, but again, scale back some stuff from Village. Like, again, make the item drops not craftable items, but actually ammo. And don't make mm -hmm. the Ganados as tough as the fucking Lycans in that game. Because, oh my god, that would be way too hard. Yeah. Or way too frustrating, I should say. Way too time-consuming. So, yeah. beyond that, um, up next is we're actually going to take a little break... Uh, from following the numerical games, and James has an idea for how we can cover uh, a few of the uh, in-between Resident Evil games. Yeah, remember we were going to try doing that, like, but in between uh, RE2 and RE3? Actually, I want to say even be even long before that. Now we're actually getting to it. We got Yay. bored. Now we're going to actually do it. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to get some uh, co-op light rail light gun stuff working. So stay tuned. Till next time, everybody. Yeah.